three, two, two one. one. Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Beers Per Minute. I am your lovely host, Mick Pettit, and with me as always is my (laughs) trio, who cuts in before I finish my intro. (laughs) Jesus. And I'm on video now. And I'm Calvin, by the way. Yeah. But, but, well, I mean, you have to at least wait until I finish my sentence before you just go ahead and start speaking. Yeah. (laughs) That's what I did. I waited. Not last time. I'm, just, I'm sorry, but the intro is different every time. So it's it's, it's like right we, as it, it does. We don't thing. have a set intro that we recite, so yeah. it just kind of happens. Yeah, just just when when I quit talking, yeah, it works. Okay. So how how are you guys? How are you guys doing? Good. Good. Yeah. Good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just just good. Nothing nothing great going on in your life. I had a had a lazy week for me. Um, just did some yard work. And house chores and played lots of video games. The mm. usual. Good for you. That's always fun. Paternity leave is the best. I love it. <laughs> Not all of us get that awesome option. You gotta have more kids. No. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> well, One then, and you. done. <laughs> then you're, you're choosing not to have it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still wouldn't get paternity leave. Just you know. you not, Yeah, there's a lot more factors that go into getting that. No, if you work more than 18 hours a week, you get paternity leave from the state. That's it. Uh, I mean, I, I don't think so. Yeah, as of as of January 2021. Oh, well. <laughs> what? Hmm. I had I had my kid nine years ago, so. Yeah, I know. I'm yeah, that, does, if, that did nothing I'm for me. I'm saying <laughs> if you were to have more kids, you would get paternity leave. That's what I'm oh. saying. Well, if I mean, everyone I don't... gets it now. <laughs> I, yeah, that doesn't, I don't think the benefits outweigh the trauma that i've already incurred from the first kid yeah so mm-hmm. we just had, to do, just had to deal with uh a thing at school with her uh <laughs> picked her up the other day and i noticed that well, her teacher's walking out with her or with the whole class but then she comes walking down the sidewalk and she's all mopey and stomping and the teacher walks over to me <laughs> says so we had an issue with riley today uh the end of the day she was crawling around on her knees hissing like a cat and refusing to do her work <laughs> oh man i'm like oh okay well that's new <laughs> haven't uh, had to deal with that yet <laughs> that was a that fun thing like, to look that forward to like something tyler's sister would do oh yeah <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> she was she was yeah she was also an a, a, a girl who wanted to be various animals. She, she wanted to be an animal. Yeah. She was the horse. <laughs> I don't and blame the her. Dog at various times. <laughs> I wish. I wish I was an animal sometimes too. <laughs> yeah. When Me I too. come home after work and I see that my cat has just been laying in the same spot since I left. Mm-hmm. Sometimes that sounds pretty nice. Sometimes. Sometimes. But yeah, then when you a, do that, being a cat's like staying at a five-star all-inclusive hotel for your entire life. Mm-hmm. Yep, pretty much. Any pet in general, really. Mm. It's just pampered. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Yeah. Well, unless unless you are an abusive pet owner, and then they're not. But if- <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure neither of us are. None of us are. So. <laughs> yeah, but for the most part, that's the life of a pet, is a five-star <laughs> inclusive resort. Mm-hmm. That's um, true. We love uh, them. We kiss them. We treat them like humans. Mm-hmm. Feed them. Talk to them like humans. And my cat they think that they're humans. <laughs> my cat will yell at me, and I'll go, "What?" And she'll go, nah, back in. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, She's our cats. I, I'm pretty sure they can understand what we talk about because they always have to interject, especially when we're talking about getting a puppy. They do not like that when we talk about that. You say puppy, they go. <laughs> yeah, they get visibly and audibly irritated. <laughs> nice. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think Jerry only gets irritated when he's when he wants you to feed him and follow you around and yell at you. Mm-hmm. And the rest of the time, he doesn't acknowledge your existence. Jerry's pretty polite. Mm-hmm. 
short little thing. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So on the on the topic of uh, <laughs> kids again, mm -hmm. um, when we first had our had Ramona, my wife was like, "All right, we're gonna have to wait like at least two or three years." Like, you know, like I don't want another one soon. Whereas I kind of wanted to get them all done and and out of there so that we wouldn't have to raise kids for the longest longest time forever but now as she's like almost three months jennifer wakes up every morning and holds her and cries that she doesn't have a sibling yet mm. so oh, no we might have yeah. to have another one next year sometime oh i mean to each his own yeah and i mean I, I like kids i wanted like three or four of them oh did you nice yeah like when we got pregnant, it was we had just recently talked about we'll give it five years and then we'll talk about. It. <laughs> then it was like a week later, like hey, <laughs> surprise. Yeah, I like being Uncle Tyler. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, uh, uncles being uncle is nice. Uncle is awesome. I was that for a while. And then, I think it depends on being an uncle is awesome if if the other people raise the kid well. Being an, being an uncle when the kid's a brat is not as fun. I mean, it can still be it, fun because you can be the guy that lays the law down of like you know they're hellions with their parents, but when they go yeah. over to uncle's house, they are the most polite children. They mm -hmm. don't get into things. Maybe, <sighs> or you can instigate them to be like terrible and <laughs> and then send them back home to their parents yeah that's always fun you too. can be the bad influence yeah that's right yeah. got it i guess and, i guess ramona's never staying at your house it's like <laughs> when uh when riley went to stay with my brother uh this was last year i think <laughs> she came home and she her legs were all like drawn up like a sleeve on her leg because <laughs> my brother's an artist so they just sat around one night just drawing on each other <laughs> we're like what is this I'm like oh it's it's my tattoos they'll wash mm -hmm. off in a week <laughs> That's really yeah funny. i like that a lot it's pretty funny oh i saw a person putting uh fake tattoos on a hairless cat the other day so awesome oh yeah i think i yeah. saw a video of that on instagram yeah yeah, just putting them all like all up and down his arm. <laughs> I'm surprised weird. the cat would stand still for it. I mean, usually they're pretty docile. You can just kind of hold them and touch them and do whatever. Yeah. I feel like you'd have to almost have one person holding and then one person drawing, though, because like... You have no, one it hand. was like... Oh, no, no, no. It was, it was fake tattoo. You know, temporary. Like oh, those, oh, so they, like wasn't, those, they were yeah. drawing it. They actually just play, plastered them on. Yeah. yeah, like those ones you get out of the dollar machines or whatever. Mm -hmm. at the store okay that makes more sense man that brings back some memories <laughs> dollar store tattoos yeah quarter machines oh mm -hmm. dang this one's 50 cents it's gotta be better nope just oh, yeah. as crappy <laughs> <laughs> but it was in colors it wasn't exactly. just black that is right yep. my parents would get us during the summer they'd get us ones that um were like water activated so you would you would stick it to your arm like a sticker, mm -hmm. and then you jump in the pool, and the mm. paper would come off, and the tattoo would be on your arm. Oh, that's weird. Oh, was, we always weird. used a wet rag. We would put the the thing on our arm and then cover it with a wet rag for five minutes, and then take yeah. it off. Yeah, yeah. I remember the, mm -hmm. they were cool, like water activated that we didn't have to worry about. Like it was just yeah. whatever we wanted them, and then we went. We had some too. So that we, we got these squirt guns one time. That came with a bunch of uh, water soluble tattoos. Oh, <laughs> you'd put you'd put the tattoos on your body, and then like you'd like not wear a shirt or whatever, and put them on your chest and your arms. And then with the squirt gun, you could squirt the tattoos off. And so, like at the end of the day, we see hey, see who still had tattoos on them. To, like <laughs> who was the yeah. king of the hill? <laughs> that was another cool thing we did. I remember. That's pretty fun. My did grandma you guys Oh, good. I was going to say one time my grandma got in, got in trouble because she got us. They were supposed to be tattoo markers, like specifically for pr fake tattoos. And so um, me and my cousins were really little and I decided I wanted face tattoos. 
<laughs> and I'd, I'd seen it on movies and stuff that like the guys with the teardrop tattoos. Mm-hmm. And so I drew like teardrop tattoos and my parents were like, uh, that's not okay. And then it wouldn't wash off. So I had teardrop tattoos for a long time. It was like, <laughs> I was like nine. Yeah. I had to not walk, not roam the streets of Sheldon for a while. Yeah. That stuff works really well too. Cause I, I used it to brighten my guitar I have on my arm because it's really light now. So I just want to try it. And I'm like, man, this makes it like, like I took a Sharpie to it. It looks, looks like I first got it done. It looks nice. <laughs> Those are fun. I think I got it at Marshall's or not. Yeah. Marshall or Michael's Michael's not Marshall's. Mm. Michael's. Michelle's. Yeah. Michelle's. Michelle. So I, I had a, had a cool incident at work today. Uh, I was cleaning some, some carpets with our Simex machine, low moisture cleaning thing and going along there and it kind of stopped. So I thought, like, oh, the, must be something wrong with the plug. So I turned it off and went and unplugged it. It was a little bit warm. So I was like, oh, okay, it must be that spot. So I went and plugged it in a different spot. It's working just fine for a good couple minutes. And then it stopped again. So then I reached down and I touched the cord. And it went back. <laughs> Sparks and smoke. Scared me mm-hmm. half to death. Your cord exploded? I have a, I have a moth trying to kill me here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like right at the base of it. It just like... <laughs> scared wow. me out of death like right yeah, where and, right where it comes into the machine or like yeah, just like, in the middle right, of the cord somewhere. right up right up to where it goes into the machine like where my hands are just starts shooting sparks jeez and yeah scared me half to death so we went and took it apart easy little fix somehow the cord got like this itty bitty little cut in it and when i moved it it just arced it mm. and it just oh man that that's that's fun gets your heart pumping yeah mm-hmm. oh yeah <laughs> Electrical guys can be delicate sometimes. Mm. Ooh, I, don't have a, I don't have a beer yet or something. Yeah, that's like it. most of the most of the issues that I find in my job when we get called out to fix something. Like either someone terminated the wires just a little bit too loose and so like they're just close enough to arc, or like one got crimped a little bit too tight around a metal box mm-hmm. and so it's like a little tiny like a hairline cut in the the insulation or whatever it's just wires are delicate you gotta be careful with them yeah <laughs> very like the electricity went... is one of those things that scares the crap out of me that's yeah yeah even if it's off i'm like ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like a gun you just gotta treat it like it's always loaded like it's always on mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I went and did one job um when i was an electrical apprentice and it was a it was a weird thing i got called um their kitchen oven would when they were preheating it it would work for 20 minutes and then it would stop hmm. and then when it cooled down it would work again and but then it would stop and so i pull, i went over there i pulled the oven out and i saw that the plug in the back in the wall it was an electric oven and the plug was busted and so what would happen is as the oven was preheating the current running through the wires because it's it create electricity is friction and then that makes the wires heat up and so they would heat up and move just enough to where it would break contact and then the oven oh. would stop working wow and so i just replaced the plug and it it fixed it nice my, my brother yeah, had like like that in his building too yeah so like if you're working on wires and stuff um you always have to account for the expansion and the contraction of when they, when you're using the wire, they'll heat up and they'll actually like start to move around a little bit. Mm-hmm. So you don't want to like secure them too tightly, but also you have to secure them. Otherwise they'll start moving around and do damage. Right. Right. I replaced. My brother's- I would not. Sorry. My brother had a, a spot in his, like his heaters would come on, but then it would, they would make the weird noise and all these things. And he replaced the breaker box and he finally had to get some people to come out and look at it. And it was his, uh, his thermostat. Like it looked on the outside, looked totally fine. Didn't smell burnt or anything, but inside was just like a charred mound mm-hmm. and somehow it was still working. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Um, when I, when we bought this house, I re- replaced most of the outlets and light switches in it. And I probably got zapped like six times before I decided to carry around with me a little thing that I could plug into it. Cause the, 
the way that my house is wired is really weird. Like none of the lights are hooked to the same places as other outlets. And it's like, so you turn off the breaker, the whole room goes dark, everything turns off. And then like, but that one outlet in the corner, for some reason is hooked to the next room. <laughs> and so like, I got zapped probably five or six times by my, my house. And so my, my hands started getting sore and I was like, all right, I'm going to go find something. <laughs> so just plug into it and be like, all right, it turned on, not that breaker, wrong breaker. Cause I was yeah. just, I was they not make, enjoying myself. They make that little plug thing. You plug it in it and the light comes on if it's on or off. Green yeah. if it's hot, red, or red if it's hot, green if it's not. <laughs> I have little wireless um, outlets, basically, that you plug mm. into another outlet and then it turns it into a smart outlet. Yeah. So I just brought one of those around with me and I plug it in. If the lights turned on, I knew it was still alive. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's the ex more expensive way of doing the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Although, I don't know, because those pieces, you get them from Home Depot or whatever, and they're expensive too sometimes. Yeah, I mean, I already had them, so I just go in and found one, and that's what I use to not get zapped anymore, because that mm -hmm. my hat made my hand really sore for no reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, there was a reason, because you were electrocuting your flesh. I, I worked it out. <laughs> I worked it out real hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, we have a, a local Mexican restaurant here that's been here since I was little. Known the people forever. Awesome food. Las Maracas. Uh, the main guy that owns it, Pedro, he makes his own tequila. And I just found this out like a couple of years ago. And he makes it usually out of pomegranates. And I asked, like, oh, could I have, have a little taste of it? And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, sure, I'll give you some. So he gave me a bottle of it. And it was delicious. Like some of the best tequila. Like just suck it down. So I went and got food from there the other day and asked if he'd been making any tequila in a while. And he, again, like, yeah, I made some new stuff. Would you like to try it? Sure. So he gave me a bottle of strawberry tequila. <laughs> He's even got Dang. a label on it and everything. Well, yeah. that, that, that's the old, that's the old, that's the old one. But, <laughs> like, I haven't even tasted it yet because I figured I would taste it on the show. When he gave it to mm -hmm. me, I'm like, ooh, ooh, that's going to be good. It but it smells, delicious. oh, it smells so good. And bring he said, that, you bring drink it straight. Oh, I will. I'll, I'll bring that with us. He said, it, you can either drink it just straight or you pour it over ice. So I'm just going to pour mm. a little bit in my cup here. Mm -hmm. I think over ice is still straight. I mean, it is. Yeah, you're not Ooh. Oh, man. So you can drink it neat or on the rocks. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells but delicious. It's, it's funny that he didn't say you can also make a margarita with it. It's like, <laughs> no, <laughs> drink it by itself. Well, it's, it's basically it's already a margarita because it's I got strawberries in it. So. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, it's a homemade strawberry margarita already. Mm, mm -hmm. That's, oh my God, that's, that's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll bring, I'm going to bring what's uh, some of my mead that I saved for mm. you. Oh, cool. Um, yes. Next week. And then you can bring some of that and Tyler uh, will just bring a hat to wear. Yeah. I think over uh, uh, on rocks would be phenomenal mm. with this. Because mm -hmm. I had it in the fridge, I had it in the fridge, but then I had it. I've had it sitting out for a little bit, mm -hmm. mm. ice cold, but oh. do you, diluted with water. It like I mean, it's not going to last that long. <laughs> Once you taste it, it's not going to last that long. Because <laughs> I have actual like rocks that oh. I freeze. There you go. So it, it it doesn't dilute it. Yeah, it just I had to, it I had to get some of those. Yeah, that yeah. that would work perfect. This stuff is oh, it's delicious. I'm oh, nice. Uh, and then we could I, it I, would be, literally be on the rocks. Yeah, there you go. Next time you see him, be like, hey, I have some friends who want to try your tequila, too. Can I have more bottles? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I got to do something. I got, I got to make something for him or, you know, just give him 20 bucks or something like that. Because he's, yeah. he's such a generous guy, too. But cause I wasn't even expecting another bottle. Because hmm. I was expecting like a little shot. Cause I went yeah, when you say try some, it's like maybe like yeah. a mason jar of it or yeah, something. Yeah, a taste of it. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, here's a, here's a drink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but no, this guy, have a bottle. But yeah, it's, That would ooh. probably make a really good daiquiri. He must make a lot of it if he can just give out bottles. That's <laughs> he, the thing. Like, he uses the gallon um, wine bottles to sort in. Well, that's what I, I use that to make my mead. But like one gallon goes, it, like, that goes fast. Like, <laughs> if, I were to, I mean, if I were to fill that bottle with my mead, I would be half the bottle. Right. But also this is like 40%. Sure. Or higher, so 
you do have that to consider because if yeah. you drink half a bottle of a 40 percent you're uh i just mean how gonna, much he's giving you fun. like if, if he's only if he only made a gallon of it and he gave you a, a 750 mil bottle oh. of it like that's uh, most of what he made so i'm thinking he must make a lot in he makes to give out bottles of it yeah he makes he likes like batches of it it's yeah. real good so i got some other other cool stuff too uh so north jetty brewing down in long beach is where i was working today we mm-hmm. uh decided to stop there on the way home because long 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 stinking day long day they, long yeah and rainy 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 it was washington weather today. just it was it was great from inside my house yeah 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> so i got a couple of their things um one of their their new ones is the spirit fingers ipa hmm. really good um and then it's so oh, she didn't put the percentage on it uh this one's like six Six nine, I think. Uh, and then nice. I got the honorable mention, which oh, is one of their new ones too. This is a uh, oh, what is it? It's a so it's not their best ooh. one though. No, well, it's I just an honorable mention. Yeah, <laughs> uh, no, the best one comes only out in December. That's their mm. double IPA. That one's Graveyard of the Pacific. That one's delicious. Mm, okay. uh, this one is a like seven. Seven or seven? No, seven, seven, one, seven, one. This one's really mm-hmm. good too. But then this one is a mixture of two of their beers. They have their Northern Lights or th- their uh, North Head IPA, which is seven, seven, and then their Lights Out, which is an eight, eight. Mm. So they mix those together and they make Northern Lights. Mm. This is delicious. <laughs> like, mm. so I think this is mm. the one I'm going to be drinking tonight for the moment. Awesome. Also picked up, you know, plug the local guys some some five years from now from Wild Man. Nice. And uh, this one is from Mount Olympus Brewing in Aberdeen. This is their Myths and Legends IPA. It's a cold IPA. That's cool. Yeah, cold? that's pretty good. Yeah, a that's how you describe a cold IPA. Hmm. I think maybe they brewed it cold or something. I don't know. Like an ice brewed IPA. Uh, that's my thought. I don't know. The hmm. only only thing that is uh or does it have like spearmint in it or something uh, ooh, no <laughs> ooh, gross. that does not sound <laughs> ugh. that's like drinking orange juice after you brush your teeth no yeah this says that a cold ipa is basically just an ipa that's fermented at lower temperatures than normal mm. okay so that's, that's like an it. ice like a bre- ice brewed beer then because it's just lower than normal but it's delicious so go check Wild Man out and Mount Olympus Brewing out and North Jetty Brewing in uh, Long Beach. Check out all awesome. the breweries. All, all those yeah. places. All those, well, all those I'm, awesome places. I'm not supporting a local brew today. Um, I just I have some Dragon's Tooth uh, Stout. That's a good one. It is yeah. really good. Mm-hmm. I just have my basic <clears throat> rum and lemonade and then the tequila that my dad got me. Nice. Nice. What tequila was that? It was the one from Alaska. I featured it last. I thought week. that was I thought that was vodka. Yeah, you said that was vodka. It was vodka. I miss. I miss <laughs> vodka, not tequila. It's vodka. I swear. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. That's a pretty clear. Uh, pretty clear tequila. I mean, tequila I mean, it could be a, uh, uh, yeah, could be a silver tequila. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But no, it's it's vodka. Oh. I was my brain was not thinking about it correctly. Probably because of the vodka. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I had to clean the glass. You got to clean the palate. I had to put some water in it, clean the tequila out of it before I pour my beer in it. Mm. Mm-hmm. There you go. Because like a like a true, a true savant. True, true yeah, a savant. A savant. <laughs> like, like a fancy person. <clears throat> I'm not a smart man, but I know you got to clean the glass before you switch <laughs> drinks. <laughs> Come on, Jenny, clean the glass. <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah. clean glasses. <laughs> you guys ever just sit around and just do voices? Um, just like, like have a conversation with yourself, but like switch up the voices, like hardcore to it? Not Some, out loud. Sometimes no? by myself in front of a mirror, but no one else ever sees me do it. Oh, it's so fun. I sometimes was playing. I'll do one at a time, but never like. Yeah, I'll like just. If I'll... I'm talking to myself at work, you know, sometimes I'll just say things to remember. Mm -hmm. As I walk from the saw to, or, you know, I'll measure something and then I'll say it over and over again, like the numbers that I am supposed to remember. Cause 
you can't write it down. That's just not cool. It's like like yeah. a barista that doesn't take your that takes notes when you order. Like oh, the mm. coffee's gonna be bad. <laughs> yeah, and, unless it's like a good hole in the wall diner where the person's been there forever, and you know she will never forget your order at all. Well, yeah, because then, then you're good. Yeah, but she doesn't write it down. That's what I mean. Then you know you're yeah. good because she's been Tyler, there forever. Tyler's saying if they write it down, they're not going to make it good because they're new. Yeah. Oh, you're saying if, if, if they, they write it if down. If they have oh. to write it down, then they, they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay I guess. So like, I, I if you have to then. write your yeah. number down, you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're a poser. Either that or you're just doing it, you know, because everything is totally different. So you got to do it one cut at a time. Yeah. Or you're dyslexic. Or that. Less dyslexic. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so I'll, I'll do, like, a weird voice when I say it to myself sometimes. Yeah. But How how weird? Come on, give, give us a preview. I don't know. It just, come, oh, it just comes naturally. I, I oh, can't force tell it. Tell me a number, Tyler. You don't throw, like a, like, a good old, like, southern draw on there. And like... No, it usually <laughs> has something to do with something I heard earlier that day. Mm-hmm. And I mine, didn't listen to anything today, so mine usually <laughs> turn into like memes or I something. Mm. That off. I apologize. I, oh, pfft, you're fine. Uh, I listen to the latest Always Sunny, and you're good. We're good. Our- <laughs> 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 it's so it was so good. <laughs> I, oh, man, yeah. I, they had to a, stop and re sunny. and start over the next day. Wasn't saying it, and then Glenn was not there too. <laughs> and then yeah, and then one of them wasn't even there. And Charlie had to be really quiet the first one too because he was the only one up because his wife has COVID, so he's like being real quiet. Mm-hmm. And even like in the one of the ad reads, he's like, "And it's so exciting." Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm looking into that. We're looking into some possible ad stuff. I don't know. If oh, when really? saying, oh, I caught it. Nice. Don't open your hand at, to show us. Him. No, him. now he's going to no, get away. No, no. We just walked out. Look at him. Look, look at that cute little guy. He's a little moth. Okay, take it outside. Smash oh, him. Oh, he's good. It's a moth. He, he's fine. Crush his skull. Now he's just going to keep buzzing around and annoying you. Yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, I caught him, so we're, I, I just established my dominance. So he's now when, you're I, when, I, when I catch a bug, it goes like this, and then the bug is no longer alive. <laughs> that's disgusting. Just, the bug. But, that's, but then that's gross on your hand. I just wipe it on something. Like, like, your, like, your child. like or, your wife. <laughs> I love you, honey. Yep. <laughs> That's what I do. So, have you guys listened to the Power Paladin album that I mentioned I got? No. You guys have not. What's a Power Paladin? Oh, my God. It is the most awesomest power metal that mm. I've heard in a long time. They're from Iceland. So good. Hmm. Like, have you ever had an album that you've heard the first 30 seconds of? Like, some, you never even heard them at all. First 30 seconds, and you knew you had to buy that album? Yeah. No. Really? You've never had that, Tyler? You, But you have. Hmm. I don't I don't normally buy it, though. It's normally like I hear 30 seconds of a TikTok song, and then I go download the entire artist on Apple Music. Oh, hmm. well, I'm talking about, like, going into it, like, actually <clears throat> hearing it for the first, like, not even know what it is, and then just picking it up and being like, oh, this is, you know, physical thing. I don't record like store. I got it. Oh, never, wow. never have I had to go buy the album because I heard it. Well, I mean, I will listen I would, to the whole album, but you're not old it's enough never to like, buy albums physically. Oh man, I need to go buy that. Well, I mean, I was at the store when I heard it, so it wasn't mm-hmm. like I just heard it and then like, oh, I have to go get it. I was, I was looking through some of the new arrivals at a record store up in uh, Seattle, and it was Power Paladin, awesome, just epic, dragon and. Looks like there's a wizard and some knights and somebody on a horse. And so I asked one of the guys about it, and he's like, "Oh, I mean, it's it's amazing." So we'll play we'll play a snippet for you. First thirty seconds, I like I had I had to buy it. There was no way I could not buy this. It is so good. Hmm. It's just like, have you guys heard of Glory Hammer? No, uh, I'm not a huge fan of metal music in general. There, it's power metal though, so it's it's a little different. It's not like screamy and it's like good fast and very yeah. epic and like a lot of ah! Mm-mm. Oh, hello person come on. Hey, go like ahead. a like a viking soundtrack no 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 but more more of uh like e- just very epic like 
It's mm. epic. Just, just real, real epic lyrics, and and you can like feel the like it gets you pumped. No, man, it's it's so good. It's it's one of those ones that I I could not pass up. And you'll have to play it for us. Yeah, you'll yeah. have to play some. So, for us. so he, here's the thing. I messaged them, uh, and uh, let them know that I uh, I bought their album, and how I thought it was awesome, and how we were going to talk about it, and they gave me permission to put it at the end of this episode. Okay. So, after the credits, uh, or at the very end, anyways, instead of Dusty Cubby this time, you're going to hear some Power Paladin. Okay. And it is amazing. So make sure you guys stick around for that. Audience. Mm -hmm. Give them a, give them a love. This Audience is their, have to, you have, their, to like, the, you uh, have to listen to the whole thing. You can't skip ahead. No, no, end. no. You have to listen to the whole thing. No, they're just going to go to the last 30 seconds and be like, all right, let's see what these power paladins are about. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're awesome. They're, they're, they're so, so good. And like, I've been listening to it every couple of days, at least uh, just yeah. at least one or two songs, just cause it's, it's very motivating hmm. and the, their lyrics are just, it's really good, good storytelling in it and everything too. Hmm. Okay. It reminds me of like the old, like, like early seventies, like psychedelic stuff like that too, where it was all, every song was just a whole story. Like the whole album was one continuous story. It wasn't just like, Oh, this is a metal song. And this is a, this song's about this. And it, like, it like, actually was continuous. Like Tenacious D. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Except they're not they're, 70s. No. no. I mean, they're getting close. They, they do tell stories in their songs. But their music isn't 70s. It's true. The, the you guys are like, amazing, though. Is it anything like like Dio or... Oh, Dio. Um, Dio, Dio, however you say Dio. it. Dio. I mean, Dio. I thought, I thought you were a real musician, Tyler. <laughs> Everybody knows Dio. I don't know. Uh, I've heard it both I just, ways. I just know that Dio is those the microphone that has two ears on it for ASMR people. Have oh, you really? That? That's different. So it's, it's a box it... like this big, and then each of the microphones are is the shape of an ear on each side of it. And so people who do ASMR can like they do things to the ear. That it's called a Dio. Hmm. I, I don't I don't know how it's, comfortable it's I am with that. It's a that's a Dio microphone. Kinda, that's kind of. It's just <laughs> it's just a left and a right. Yeah, it's it's a fancy left and right in the, in the shape of an ear. Yeah, that, that's yeah. I mean, yep. I guess if you're doing the if you're doing ASMR, that's kind of you know that's your 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 uh, demographic you're going for. So <clears throat> I sub pops up on my uh, TikTok and stuff every now and then. Somebody just like scraping stuff on like their nails on the microphone i'm like oh this is i can't no not that that's not good mm -mm. that's really bad i don't like asmr that. on tiktok doesn't make any sense either because most people watch tiktok on mobile mm -hmm. and asmr is not designed for mobile it's designed for headphones so like it's just to like point? look at my what? channel mm -hmm. that's silly yeah. well i guess i mean mm -hmm. i i listen to or i watch tiktok usually i'm with headphones in for the most part yeah, because that's usually I usually have some have headphones in because I don't want to disturb everybody. I don't normally watch stuff on my phone with headphones. I normally just yeah. So anything else interesting? Um, I don't know. We got hmm. uh, we got some some guests that we have to do next week, which will be fun. Mm -hmm. Next I week, had some big week. <laughs> I had uh, to message Jeremiah Hughes too just the other day and be like, "Hey, we're still good for the seventeenth, right?" And he's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, we're all he's all like, good." Who is this? <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, and that the thing is, my anxiety was kicking in because I was like, "Man, I haven't been in the uh, guest scheduling game in a long time," so I'm like, "Oh <laughs> crap." <laughs> yeah, but he's all good. We got uh, Jason. It's all good too. Uh, I also like Marcus Hellinger. He's awesome. And if people know that name, it's from the Nerd Buzz podcast. They haven't done one in a little while, but they were really good. Some good friends that I met when I first started podcasting. Yeah, mm -hmm. good, 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 good guys. Lots of guests. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we have to we have to make sure we properly introduce them this time. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, eh, I mean, Asher is fine. <laughs> Asher didn't count as a guest. He was like an add-on. He counts. Yeah, that's why it's 
that's why it's with Asher, not you know, featuring Asher. Mm. <laughs> mm. He broke his toes last night, two of them. What? We were talking yeah, we were talking and he kicked a box he forgot that was on the floor, broke two of his toes. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. So like, like he thought it was he thought it was empty and it was full. I, or something. He just said he forgot the box was, was there and just you know. Probably Jeez. went for, you know That sucks. Heel strike and bam. A heel strike. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's funny how much force your feet have when you're in mid stride and not thinking mm -hmm. about it. It hurts. Like you can you can really do some damage to your feet just by bumping into stuff, just walking normally, not like or, even or a small dog or a child. <clears throat> yeah, do I some mean, damage. <laughs> really, just reminds me of children, a... Calvin. Just saying, <laughs> <laughs> if they get in my way, then they, they can be coming to them. <laughs> Goal. <laughs> <laughs> a friend of mine, um, when him and his wife first got married, they were in a really small cabin. And uh, they had like, they didn't really have space for a table. So they had just like a, you know, a bar with some stools um, on the end of their kitchen. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, the, the, they didn't have a master bedroom. So they just had like a bedroom and then they had to walk across the house to get to the bathroom. And so in the middle of the night, one night he got up to use the bathroom and was walking through and some, and one of them had forgot to push the stool back into its little area up against the counter and so as he was walking past it his little toe caught the ed caught one of the legs and mm. broke it and it was like poink like <sighs> totally sideways <clears throat> and oh, he was that... like you know dang it oh yeah. bummer <laughs> oh, 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 oh oh gosh man. darn it <laughs> but then, <laughs> so but then he was trying to get his wife to like pull it straight and she was like, no, no, I'm not going to do that. And he's like, come on, just do it. It needs to be done. And he's like, she's like, no, no, I'm taking you to the, we're going to the hospital. We're going to see the doctor. And the mm -hmm. doctor saw it and he laughed when they told him that story. He was like, yeah, I, I didn't want to come here, but my wife wouldn't, she wouldn't pull the toast. And he laughed and he's like, oh man, if she would have done that, it probably would have come off in her hand. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so unsettling to think about that's amazing yeah because all that was holding it there was the, the skin. skin yeah so uh so the doctor like pushed it back put it in you know into the right <laughs> position carefully but he was mm -hmm. like yeah you don't want to pull on that to get it straight no because mm -hmm. there's like be, nothing be, holding it there you'd be wanting to pull it back straight again it depends on what exactly is broken but yeah you don't yeah. want to you're not pulling away yeah. from the foot with it mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah he's like there's not much to the little toe so like if it breaks like that don't pull it because it'll mm -hmm. just come off yeah and then you'll be out of toe <laughs> yeah <laughs> and your pinky and your big toe are very essential for balance yep mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which you know i I don't understand because my my pinky toes are stupid. <laughs> I, I hate them so much. They like, have bad balance. I mean, not not really, but my toes are just stupid. They just curl under weirdly. Mm, on yeah. my, pinky, my pinky toes. My moms do the same thing. I don't know why, but they just. Huh. I can I can get rid of it. I don't care about it. Yeah. Usually, <laughs> if I hit something with my feet, my toes curl. Mm. They don't go sideways. Also. Yeah, but if if you're like swinging your foot, yeah. You know, and like you like just catch the edge thing. of something, it would just like catch it and pull it. You know, yeah. Oh, that ow! It's like watching old skate videos. Mm. Guys, oh, fall, oh, I think the worst one I ever saw. The dude, he was doing uh, inline, and he lit off of a rail, and he hit like that on the ground, and popped right there, snapped it. That bone was just sticking, sticking out. Wasn't no blood or anything, but it was just sticking out. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah there's like those videos uh skating videos um weightlifting sometimes they'll have like crazy ones mm. and um i think the worst one i saw was a video of these two guys arm wrestling <clears throat> i know and, like, exactly which one you're talking yeah, about just snapped right mid bicep you see it just go bah! <laughs> yeah it was loud like this yep. loud snap and then his arm flops over my wife can't watch any of those videos at all. No, if she thinks, just... if she if she's watching a workout or arm wrestling or any kind of video, and she thinks 
there might be some sort of broken limb happening, she has to stop watching it. Like she mm-hmm. cannot, she cannot watch bones being broken. No, Who's no that, nor um, should anybody want I'm, to. I'm fine with it. It doesn't bother me. Do you guys know that that one UFC fighter? He's an Irish guy. I think it's McGregor. He's like one of the the famous ones. <clears throat> I can't remember his name. I only know him from like the weird commercials that he's in. Yeah, he his was name in like a Connor or something. I think Connor that's McGregor. One. That might be the one I'm thinking of. But he recently had a fight not too long ago, and he like <clears throat> he went for a kick on the guy. But when he kicked him, he snapped his shin, and <clears throat> you see it too in his leg. And then he stepped back down on his foot, and you see it like. Uh-huh. <laughs> but then even though he lost because of that he was on the mic just talking smack to the guy just mm-hmm. hardcore <laughs> yeah <laughs> sitting here with a snap leg and just going at it yeah oh yeah i saw a video of uh, like that too where the guy went to like sweep kick sweep the feet and mm-hmm. but then his leg just ended up wrapping around the other guy's leg <laughs> <laughs> I don't think bones are supposed to bend like that. No, it looked like a wet noodle, just kind of like <laughs> it was. It looked super painful, like a car on a telephone pole. It's yeah. crazy yep. how strong your bones are, but then just certain things can make them break. Like, it's like teeth too. Yeah, yep. bones are kind of are a little bit <clears throat> rubbery and flexible too. Yeah, what my cousin. My cousin was a basketball player in high school, and uh, their coach went to pass a ball to somebody during practice. And uh, the guy, like, he, he it, nothing weird was going on. They were just like, you know, running drills or whatever. <clears throat> and at the end end of it, you know, they have to pick up all the all the stuff, put it away. And so the coach passes him a ball, and he just steps slightly weird. Just like went to jump to catch it because it was just a little bit away from him, and he jumped and twisted slightly, and it like spiral fractured his femur. Oh, just like shattered it, and he had to have surgery. <clears throat> his bone just turned to dust in his leg. Basically, so, yeah, and it was just like a weird thing. It was just a weak yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, just some I mean, weird little thing. That's like my brother jumping over a, a two foot bush and breaking his leg. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. But the worst thing about that, the land wrong. The worst thing about that is when he he rebroke it halfway through. It healed. Ah. Yeah, that was that was just, he was wearing socks on a hardwood floor with a broken leg. It was mm-hmm. not smart. It was not a good decision. No, no. Mm-hmm. Came around a corner and just poof, rebroke it. Cast and that? everything. Uh, that's Ouch. what we call it, a, a uh, ID10T problem. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, man. Yeah, I, I, all this stupid stuff I've done, never broke a bone. Yeah, I'm, I'm very, very thankful for that. Mm-hmm. Very, very thankful. Did you guys uh, know about Dave Grohl's book he wrote? No. Mm-mm. Storyteller? Uh, mm-hmm. Bobby's been listening to it because he also did the audio book for it so it's him telling it okay it's real good is it i mean yeah D- dave Grohl is probably one of my favorite musicians because of his like <clears throat> knowledge of everything and the way he views music there was a post a long time ago on facebook that he did an interview and he was talking about how you <clears throat> view what you do like even if you're out there playing uh, playing music for you know, a thousand people. Mm-hmm. Everybody hates it. They don't aren't into it. But one person after the show comes up to you and says, "Hey, I really enjoyed it." That makes it all worth it. And the fact that you're not doing it to get the crowd's reaction or you know to get something back from them, you're doing it for you. And that's how he views all of his music. Is I I'm doing it because I love doing this, and mm-hmm. I don't care if anybody else likes it. I'm the one doing it. I love playing this this music. It, it's such good. Like advice to actually think about, uh, especially like even doing stuff like this, like me yeah. even reaching out to Dusty Cubby or Power Paladin. Like I would n- never have done that. Yeah, and good, all I did was just ask a question. Advice. You know, like just if my dad always said, if you if you don't ask, the answer is always no. Mm-hmm. And that's pretty much how it is. <laughs> yeah, you just have to be confident in yourself. Because mm-hmm. what what are they going to say? No. 
Mm-hmm. So somebody says, you suck. Well, mm, okay, in your opinion. Yeah. Like along <laughs> the lines of, of you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Right. Yeah. Well, and, and kind of like that, you know, yeah, are they just trying to cause drama? Are they trying to start something? Stuff like that, you know, somebody just trying to get a rise out of you. Because mm-hmm. it was during the whole uh, Black Lives Matter stuff, like right towards the tail, tail end of it, there was, uh, I think it was that one one little boy that got got shot. I think you know, if you guys remember that, it was like some know. something happened. He had an airsoft gun and the police drew on him really fast when they pulled up there. Bad situation. But there was a post of these, like this group of cops in, I forget where it was at, but they were all like in riot, like riot shields and stuff, but they all had squirt guns and, and a big old thing of water balloons. And they were like swatting into this community of little kids <laughs> and having a squirt gun fight with them. Hmm. And I thought like, that was such a cool thing because <clears throat> everybody's so afraid of the police at that moment. And like, it was such a, they were getting mm-hmm. such a bad name and they're like, it's really cool to see this. Like it was an endearing moment. Yeah. And like, I always wave at my cops around here. <laughs> it's really funny when the change of the old guard though, <laughs> we got the new guys. Like, oh, I wave at them and they look at me like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. But I come in, I was like, this is so nice to see, you know, people actually enjoying, you know, being okay with the cops. And then somebody had to come in and like, yeah, just like shooting a black kid. And like, but that has nothing to do with anything on this thing. Yeah. My, my thing was, this is such a nice thing happening. You know, why, why have to throw that in there? But I didn't let it bother me. Like, I didn't respond to it. It's like, eh. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, do do it's uh if you think it's good, if you enjoy it, like your music, your whatever you're you're doing, that's do it for you. And that's kinda like this, you know, like we're this isn't for anybody else. I mean it yeah. is, but <laughs> just for us. <laughs> do do what you feel, basically. Don't let anybody yeah. else tell you otherwise. Yeah. For for the most part. I mean, unless yeah. it's breaking law, then you know. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta have gotta follow those rules. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there are there are many rules that are not meant to be broken. Yeah, very. There, there are, <clears throat> and and some that you know. Even if you do, it's going to be so much worse for you. you know, yeah, just, uh, and then there's some rules <laughs> like it being illegal to carry a goldfish on a public bus or something. That's. <laughs> That's funny. That, oh, yeah. That, I heard about that, too. There was all these like, weird laws that are still in place. Wasn't mm-hmm. there another one that was like, it's illegal in this one state to eat a pickle in public? Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> that, a few that's weird a good ones. one. <laughs> there, was a, there was a few that were like super specific and mm-hmm. weird. Like some like one idiot did it and something bad happened. They're like, all right, it's a law now. No more. <laughs> yeah. It, like it, was... one, one, it offended one person for some reason. And so was, then they were like, we need to make this a law. And everybody's like, that's really weird. I'm never going to do that. So sure. Why not? <laughs> Doesn't affect me. <laughs> it's like yeah. reading the warning labels on things of like, what, why do you have to say not to, to put this in that place? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because yeah, obviously why is there... one person has done that. <laughs> yeah. Why is there a warning not to put a small child in a plastic bin with the lid on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or that there's instruction manuals on the back of a Pop-Tart box. <laughs> and, yeah. the, and the first step is remove pop tart from pouch. <laughs> uh, uh, oh man, <laughs> <laughs> it's sad because I know people that have done that. That have put the pop tart still wrapped in the plastic into the toaster or into the microwave. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, Not man. microwave, thank God. Oh, they, into the toaster. The toaster. <laughs> Which That's so almost, it, I feel uh, like the toaster's worse. Honestly. I think the toaster is probably worse. The microwave would just melt it, and you'd be like, "Oh man, my pop tart." There's metal on that package. Oh, it's like aluminum. It yeah. There's a reason mm. it's shiny. It's, mm. it's a mm-hmm. tin foil wrapper. Yeah, and that metal makes a nice sparky in your microwave. Yeah, mm. but then you you'd be able to like catch it and stop it, right? Like if you put if yeah, you, you put, would just turn you would just open the door and take it, it out. If you put plastic wrapping I mean, in, in your toaster, you although need to buy I do toaster. know I do know a person <laughs> who read. He he looked at a package and there was a it was a typo on the package, but it was for a pop, uh, not a pop tart, a hot pocket. Hot but pocket. they added one extra zero to the time, <laughs> and so he put it in. No, it was two extra zeros, so he put it in for an hour. What? 
<laughs> and was like, it's what it says on the package. Let's go with it. And so he put it in for an hour. <laughs> and uh, the microwave broke. And when he opened it, it was like a brick of coal. Yeah. I- <laughs> <laughs> he nuked it. Uh, wow. Literally. Man, I I had to do a smoke damage one time because this old lady put a uh, rice snake in in her microwave. You know, she was put it in for like ten minutes, and she did the same thing. She put it in for an hour because she hit the zero too many times. You and just, just it's not ten minutes. You that was melt it. It well, no, it's right. It's rice. Right, but it's like rough, the, whatever the sock that it's in would melt. I mean, it dep- it right? depends on what. It, no, it depends I, on what. It's like cloth. It's like I don't even I know would, what a rice snake is. I probably would. I wouldn't put those in for any longer than like a minute. Depends you on your microwave, too. That's true. And, but, like, it's if you want it to get real hot or what you're doing with it, because it's not going to burn yeah. unless you put it in for an hour. I was, um, we had somebody was in our house at one at one time, not an intruder. They were a guest. Um, Some but they, they had a, <laughs> their neck was hurting and, and they had one of those things. And so they, they put it in the microwave and we were, we were all asleep. Amanda and I were in the like in the bedroom in the back of the house and I woke up and I was like something is on fire there's something burning and it was like this smell that like burns your nose mm-hmm. you know like it's melting plastic and it's like something burning and smoldering and on fire and I'm like freaking out and I'm running through the house like I can't figure out what this is I cannot I don't see anything but something is on fire and like she could smell it too so i'm like i'm not crazy something and so i like run outside i grab a ladder and i'm go in the attic like looking around and she comes out and she's like are you guys do you smell something burning and i was like yeah what's going on did you is there a candle or something what what's what's happening she's like yeah i put the i put the rice in the microwave for too long and it caught on fire so i threw it away <laughs> I was like, oh. oh my gosh <laughs> that's good <laughs> <laughs> most things work pretty well usually keep them in the freezer for like headaches and stuff mm-hmm. yeah that's hilarious they work just as good when you warm them up as when they're like if you're sick, like you have the flu and you heat it up, like it's awesome. First, I don't know what it is. Yeah, it, it's like a piece of cloth, or it's a pillowcase filled with rice, and you sew it up and throw it in the microwave, basically. But it's like a small thing you put around your neck. It's like it's yeah, like it's like a rice. tube sock. It's yeah. like a tube sock with rice in it, basically. Mm. I just have a like a uncooked rice. That's important. I have like a hot water <laughs> bottle yes. that does that. Yeah. That, yeah, that's a hot, yeah, hot water bottle. Yeah, same yeah. thing. I think but the this rice, is, you don't have I to think fill it back stays up. hot longer. Well, this is a seal. It's it's a chemical reaction. It's got a little thing in it that you oh, click. Th- and then th- it, yeah, that little metal pops and then, and then it goes. Heats up. Yeah. We have a couple of those. It was one of those impulse buys from uh, Folk Life. They're uh, cool. Uh, mm-hmm. Bobby's. And she's used it a total of twice in the past uh, <laughs> seven years. My wife <laughs> uses them pretty often. She loves them. They're pretty cool because then you have to put them in boiling water to like <clears throat> to reset it. Yeah. yeah, which is really weird. I don't mm, understand weird, yeah. how that and, works. And you can freeze them too, so they can be hot or cold packs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's that little metal thing in there. I'm like, oh, I just want to play with it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's where my ADHD comes in. <laughs> yeah. Just constantly, it's constantly setting off the hot pot, hot uh, hot pack. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Mm. Constantly. Well, no, I, mean, I want a hot pocket too. Uh, ham and cheese is the best. Yep, I agree. And the meatball ones are the second. The, I like the original ones. What's the original like, one? Like just the pepperoni. pepperoni and cheese. Those are good too. Just pepperoni pizza hot pockets. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There was always to go for a hot pocket. That's what I would get. I like the ham and cheese one, and I like the pepperoni bacon one. Those are my two favorites. Mm, I haven't yeah, had that one's pretty bacon. good. The one that I did not like was like the barbecue pork or something like that. That one was kind of strange. It was that was okay. Like, it was it's way okay. too sweet. If you it really want gross. the barbecue flavor, that it's you know it's <clears> a hot pocket, but it right. was like a piece of bread if you filled it just with barbecue sauce, <laughs> and, and it was like 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 the the thin slice of deli meat that they stacked and just snipped mm-hmm. into squares and threw in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it wasn't good. It wasn't pulled pork. No, 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 no. Oh, that reminds me. I mean, I had it coming, but um. I went into a, a a gas station, like, and they have the hot box where they'll have like you know breakfast burritos and 
whatever. You got hot box at a gas station? Yeah. And so I went to, uh, I got the breakfast sandwich. It was like the ham and cheese sandwich. And, uh, but it was literally like they took like the thin sliced deli ham that you get like the prepackaged stuff. They just took all of it and stuck it between two hamburger buns and then let it set under the heat lamp until it dried out. And then they put like some one super thin slice of cheese and a little bit of mayonnaise on the bun. <laughs> it was so bad. Like I, I couldn't bite all of the way through it. It was like trying to eat a pencil eraser. Oh my God. <laughs> it was the worst. Well, some of those are real hit and miss. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it depends on the gas station. I feel like, like some gas stations yeah. just have garbage food. And then like the one out at Deer Creek, it's yeah. consistently delicious mm -hmm. all the time. Like yeah, it's super good restaurant quality food. <laughs> well, and then if you go there early enough, you can get their fresh donuts. Ooh, yeah, nice. and they're like the old old fashioned style donuts, like the cake donuts. So they're like real dense, but they deep fry them, so they're crispy on the outside and then warm in the middle. Mm. So good. And <laughs> they yep. have a they have a a breakfast. It's not a breakfast sandwich. It's a breakfast burger. It's really Ooh, good. Yeah. Like it's like a it's like a burger patty, but then they and put it's it's basically it's just a cheeseburger, but um they call it breakfast burger. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it's it's just, nothing fancy it about it. It <laughs> doesn't have like pickles and onions or anything on it. It's just like that. is it like a sausage patty or something or no, or it's what? it's a hamburger patty. Instead there, of a sausage patty, it's a hamburger patty. Is there everything eggs else on is the it? same? I can't remember. So what is makes it, it breakfast? I say, is it just a plain cheeseburger? It's just a cheeseburger. It might just be a plain cheeseburger, and, but and they, they just breakfast, put breakfast, they put breakfast on it, and it makes it amazing. <laughs> Nobody wants salad in the morning. I don't know. Got that lettuce and tomato. <laughs> <laughs> but like when you're extra tired and you just get some high protein mm -hmm. breakfast sandwich thing, there's nothing better than that. They have a they have a Deer Creek dog too. That's like a hot dog wrapped in bacon and then deep fried. I think. Mm. Ooh, that and that's good. that's like it's only there it's pretty good i went to one place they had um it was a uh, uh oh man what was it i don't know it was oh no it was <clears throat> now i remember what it was it was a jalapeno stuffed with cheese wrapped in a tortilla wrapped in bacon yep and then deep fried yep that sounds so delicious. amazing yeah, like the that best, sounds... the best thing ever. Oh, and then they had, um, so they had that, but then they also had a Polish dog where they would take like the Polish hot dogs and then they would slice them in half, wrap them in bacon mm. and put them on a, mm -hmm. on a stick. On, you like, wrap anything in stick. bacon and it's going to be amazing. We're just making everybody hungry at this moment. Yeah. Like this is gas station food. Gas station There's food me? can There's... be good. There's Not some all of it is. You some of it that. can be amazing. Yeah, it, like it can like be. Seven Eleven is one that's just a hit or miss within the actual gas station. Like, I like their pizza because it's like two dollars and real cheesy. But then, like, their chicken and like their other food is like, eh, kind of soggy and like. Sat I've out never had long. I've never had a good experience at a Seven Eleven. No, really, no. The, it's the always thing? the like the Ma and Pa gas uh, quick stops. They're definitely better. Yeah, I like, mean, I would, you get the rollers at Seven Eleven. You know, the roller dogs and yeah. all that. I would but definitely the, Deer Creek over 7-Eleven any day. Oh, but yeah. If mm -hmm. I want like cheap pepperoni pizza, 7 Eleven's not bad. 7 Eleven Deer has Creek has the... really good pizza. Deer Creek does? Hmm. Oh yeah. Their pizza is super good. The <clears throat> 7 Eleven has the um jalapeno cheese logs, you know. Mm. Whatever I can't remember the name of them. See, but... you lost me there when you said log. That's the only way out there is the log. It's, it's what it looks like. It's it's, a, it's in with the roller dogs. It's I forget what they're called, but they're like the the jalapeno stuff. It's like kind of like a tortilla. I don't know. But oh, deep fried. Mm. Like mm -hmm. the you know they have the Philly cheesesteak ones, but the jalapeno cheese ones are the best. Mm. Like I'll take those over anything. <clears throat> usually, Seven Eleven used to have um like fresh biscuits stuffed with sausage gravy. That you could buy for a couple dollars, and they were amazing. But they discontinued them because not enough people were buying them. I've had a recipe mm. to make those, I and I'm gonna so do much. it. Because you take the gravy, you make your gravy, and then you put it in an ice cube tray, freeze it, 
And when you lay your biscuits out, you put the ice cube in the center of it, and then you roll it together, and then you bake it. And then mm. you have a biscuit filled with gravy. Oh, that was amazing. Mm. They were my favorite thing. I would go in there and buy like three of them for breakfast. There was a um, a gas station on the reservation out in... Uh, Whoa. It Excuse was me. up north. It was like up by Squim. <clears throat> but um, every once in a while, I used to work up there. Um and so we would have we would stop when we got close to the job at that reservation and squim. And they had like you could get the biscuits and gravy and they would just have like a plastic tray with two you could get two or four uh biscuits <clears throat> and then they had like like the um the gravy. Yeah, I I don't but they would like they would make it fresh in the morning. And then they would put it in one of those hot steamer, I can't, like a chafing dish. Like like they have the hot soup at Safeway or Fred Meyers. Sure. Like a pot. And so then, yeah, and then you would just ladle that right on your biscuits. Ooh. So good. Fred, fresh, like, country gravy is oh, yeah. mm-hmm. sausage, so amazing. Sausage gravy. Mm. And it's kind of sad to say, but it's the homemade stuff isn't, like, the best. It depends on who's know. making it. There's, My dad well, makes a mean sausage gravy. Well, My wife's really good. See, too. see, but I've never had your dad's gravy. I've had like, like I'm saying, like restaurants that you can go to. It's like, oh, it's our, it's homemade gravy. Usually, it's like the, it's not cheap brand, but it's like there's one brand of sausage gravy. Jimmy Dean's. No, it's not Jimmy Dean's. There's, there's a different mm. one. I don't think I've and, ever had instant sausage gravy before. No, not, not instant. It comes in a can. Canned oh. gravy? See, it's, I've it's, never had, I've never never had, had that it out of a can. Nope. Uh, mm-hmm. I, if you've eaten at a restaurant, I'm sure you've had it out of a can a couple times. <sighs> Maybe, but I'm never, I've never had it knowingly. <laughs> there's I don't one think I've ever ordered biscuits really and good. gravy at a restaurant. You've never That's... gone to like a diner and had biscuits and gravy? I don't I don't remember. I can't I don't I can't remember doing that. I get I get that what? all the time. Like I uh, usually like uh, usually I food. opt for I opt for eggs Benedict. Mm. Oh, that's good too. Yeah, I do. I it do depends on the restaurant because some restaurants are they're more unhealthy diners, and their unhealthy mm. food is going to be amazing, and their healthy food is <laughs> not going to be amazing. Yeah, if I'm at a restaurant and I <laughs> want like a savory breakfast, I'll get the eggs Benedict. Mm. Otherwise, mm-hmm. I'll get like French toast or pancakes or a waffle or something. Yeah, there's one. There's one restaurant that I've I've we I've done the fire alarm inspection at a few times called. A buttered biscuit, I think, and they're a, uh, a bre- primarily a breakfast and lunch place, and then like the upstairs turns into dinner mm. when the, when dinner time comes. Mm. Um, but they one time I was there, and they after we finished the inspection, it was like ten in the morning, and we hadn't eaten yet, and they were like, "Hey, you guys want some food?" <laughs> um, like they were just gonna give us some, and we're like, "Yeah, sure." Like, what do you got? They're like, they like, do you like biscuits and gravy? I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> so they they just gave us these two styrofoam trays. Um, with like four biscuits in there and like probably 20 ounces of gravy. Just like, it's like you open the tray and mm. it almost falls out the tray. Ooh. It was so much food. I love <laughs> sausage gravy so much. One of the best places. And I, I think they're still good. I haven't done, had it in a long time, but Swanson's and Aberdeen. Mm. We used to get, uh, their breakfast biscuits and gravy because it, it was Matt, like their biscuits were like that. Like that was mm-hmm. one biscuit, and they give you four of those for a full Dang. breakfast. Oh, so much food. That's like shareable. So good though. And it was only like twelve dollars. Yeah. Super mm-hmm. cheap. We used to get that when we go and clean the port down in Aberdeen. Every time every time. Swan yeah. first. And if they're still that good, I, I I'll have to do that. I'll have to go next time I go to Aberdeen. I'm gonna try it, see if they're still yeah. as good. I'll report, yeah, do that, that for us. Yeah, everywhere I, I work, I go to Aberdeen. I mean, I don't want to go to Aberdeen either. But there's I mean, some good restaurants cool. over there, at least. I mean, I I can't speak oh. for the town experience, but if you're gonna go there for breakfast or lunch, there's some pretty good places. There's mm-hmm. a couple good ones. Yeah, the um, Casamia is pretty good, or not Casamia? Oh crap, was it Casamia is the one that chain one? Casamia is Italian pizza uh, restaurant. Uh, yeah, and it's, it's not that great. Out. No, it's not. It's there's one that it's an Italian restaurant up there, but it's kind of along the same line of name. I can't remember the name of it, but that one's really good. It's it's really fancy. Casa Mia's happy hour is good. You can get a large pepperoni for like six dollars. Ooh, 
Mm-hmm. I mean, that's. I yeah, do love I, a good happy I hour. Like my wife and I shared a large pie for like six <clears throat> bucks. It was amazing. Who doesn't love a good happy hour? <laughs> um, I haven't been out for a happy hour in quite a while. Yeah, me neither. Mm-hmm. Hey, because you're usually working. Guess what? Next Friday, <laughs> we're gonna go for happy hour. Happy hour. Sometimes we would stop for a happy hour um, if we got done with work early. But <laughs> mm-hmm. I haven't worked with other people in so long. <laughs> yeah, so when you finish work, you just go home. I just go home. <laughs> <laughs> you don't just go to the bar and have a beer? No, that's sad. Yeah. Go by yourself. Uh, that ain't sad. I, I would go to the store and buy a six-pack and then go home and drink it by myself. Yeah. I feel like that's sadder. Well, that's uh, more cost-efficient. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't, more, I wouldn't come home and, but... and drink it by myself. I would come home and, and have some with my wife. Hmm. Right. I mean, like, your wife likes beer. Yeah. My wife yeah. is not a well, big fan I, of I'll beer. I'll have to mine, get mine two things. Like <laughs> <laughs> See, okay. Is it, if your li- wife likes alcohol, let's say that. Mm-hmm. Mine does not like the flavor of it very much. So mm. she liked she liked the mead. Yeah. She was she, she told me about that. So it was pretty good. Yeah. And she doesn't yeah. mind mead, but she doesn't like, she doesn't drink it like it at all. She, she drank it like it was a shot, though. It was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I gave her like a like a little tasting glass of it, and she's like, took one sip. She's like, mm, it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh, I got some mead that we all need to try too. I have one from Denmark. I have one from uh, Guatemala. Actual, some actual Danish mead. Uh huh. That's awesome. And, and I have one from uh, the Asir Meadery in Everett. So we're, you're going to bring a whole bunch of bottles uh, the next weekend? <laughs> nope. nope. Yeah, you, guys, you guys have to come here for that one. You got to come to your house? Yeah. Yeah, this summer. You guys all got to come here. We'll have some good meat. Oh, I'll take some of the If summer hey, ever arrives. Hey, uh, hey Tyler, if you want to try some of this meat, come to Rent Fair. Yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I can't. I won't be able to. I'm busy. You're busy the whole weekend? So I'm busy. busy all month and all next month and probably the month after that. All right. Are you, are you busy <clears throat> first of next month? Yes. July 1st. All day? Yes. Oh, I doubt all day. He's a very busy All day man. long. All through the night? Yeah. <laughs> you, you need a new boss. Uh, that's me. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you need a new one. <laughs> Someone who's more lenient. <laughs> Let's you take some time off. <laughs> go, go beg your boss for some vacation time. Gotta Tyler. talk to the customers, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everybody needs everything done right now. So, mm-hmm. But are they willing to pay for it? So far. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Even the fence job? Uh, that one's not going to go for a while. Oh, okay. But that's okay. But they're still on board with it, though. Yeah. Yeah, cool. they're gonna have to take out a loan for it. But <laughs> <laughs> my, my uncle is uh, redoing his back porch. He's putting on like an extra uh, laundry room. It's really weird. They got this house and they <laughs> they took out a bathroom to make a bigger laundry room, and now they're putting moving the laundry room so they could put another bathroom back in where they took the bathroom out. But it's like reworking the whole back porch. <laughs> mm-hmm. But it's like twenty five <clears throat> around there. <clears throat> thousand that sounds like a really good deal. Yeah, <laughs> there, sounds like they're getting, thousand. They're getting a really good deal. Thousand. It's it's. I mean, it's not that big, but yeah, it's it's a especially with price of everything nowadays. Yeah, yeah, they're getting. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good because I, I'm glad that I work at Warehouser as a janitor, and they have wood that I'm like, hey, can I take that? And they're like. <laughs> Go ahead. Like all their crate, all their crates and stuff comes in. You know these huge crates full of two by fours and all that. So they just throw them out back until mm-hmm. someone takes them or they chip them or do whatever with them. And I just gotta get a little work order because junk wood scrap. Yeah, but they're like fifteen foot two by fours. Yeah, I'm like <clears throat> you know how much money is there? Yeah, yeah. The wood is still fine. fine. <laughs> yeah, when yeah. I worked in the cabinet shop, um, we would get countertops delivered. And they would use reject countertops, and like as buffer pieces. Mm-hmm. And so there would be like twenty foot long countertops 
that were rejected because they had like a scratch in them or uh, the um, one of them, it was like they had a rolled edge on the front, but it was a really tight roll. And so the laminate kind of cracked mm. on part of it. Not the whole thing, but it was like in a two foot chunk. It was cracked. But so then they just threw it away. Oh, really? And so we would buy like we would buy like ten countertops or whatever, and then there would be two extra on either end of them to keep them from getting damaged in shipping. And so I got to take some of them home, and like in my garage, I have the whole backside of the garage has a countertop all the way across, and those were reject countertops that were free. There's nothing wrong with them. I mean, other than when they made them reject, they put nails through them, so there's nail holes in the tops of them but for the garage that's totally fine yeah that's <clears throat> like that's great yeah I, and I, like, I love that stuff they're just like gonna toss they just toss them you know it was just a pallet and then they would send so they would put those two countertops on either side of the ones that we bought and then they would send them on two like full-on two by four pallets of like 12 foot long 16 foot long two by fours top and bottom and so then every time we ordered countertops we would get like six two by fours and so like we were saving them and after a while we had like a whole bunk of 16 foot two by fours and i built it i when work got slow i took all of those and added on to the my boss's barn like added a new room and i oh, framed dang. i framed it all with those two by fours that were the pallets <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. It's, it's so cool. It, like, so much is wasted. Mm -hmm. we, they're just like, yeah, take it. Yeah, we, we definitely <laughs> live in a country of waste. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Consumerism. Very, very much so. And I'm, I'm going to consume this beer. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. No, there's not. Finished my rum. <gasps> and now I just got no. a little bit of vodka left. Little bit. Oh, darn it. oh man. My special. I got this. Ooh. Oh, it's a. It says. I don't know if you can read it. It I, says. I mean, it says, "Dad established 2022." Oh, nice. That dad. Was a cool. Cool game. There we go. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> My Bobby dad bought me um for our anniversary a couple years ago. She bought me the, a man crate. Have you guys seen those? Mm -hmm. uh, I have seen those. The free suite comes like with its own crowbar and everything. I still use that little thing for like, <laughs> little little things all over the place. It's great, but it came with two tumblers. It says "petted" on it, like really cool, oh, sweet etched on there, and then two slate coasters. There's some peanut or some cash, not cashews. Ah, the other one, pecans. The one I don't really care for. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> candy pecans, and I don't know, they're kind of bitter. I, love I, don't like, I don't like most nuts. I only like peanuts and pistachios. Mm. Hmm. And chocolate-covered almonds. Candied pecans are really good. The, they're good, but the, the bitterness is just gets a bit much for me. Because it it'd sticks around for a while. It'd have to be like candied chopped pecans. Man, Calvin, like if they're small enough and they're candied, <clears throat> then they're fine. But if it's a full pecan, the candy's not enough to fight the bitterness. Do you remember the, um, the, the caramel peanut vendors in Chile? Yes. Those were so good. Those were very that, delicious. That sounds those were so stinking tasty. They had different flavors too. It wasn't just caramel. It was like yeah, but the, those was, were the best. Hot ones. nuts, and you just there's like five different varieties of them of hot yeah. nuts. Hot nuts. Yeah, it was like the can. it was like the hot dog vendors in New York, but mm -hmm. in Chile that was like nuts it's peanuts. Oh, um, but yeah, they would do the toffee peanuts, the top the hot toffee peanuts. Oh my gosh, those were so good. You could smell them from like six blocks away. Mm -hmm. You're like, mm -hmm. oh, oh yeah, we got to keep walking straight. <laughs> keep going. I don't care if the bus stop is back there. We got to keep going this way because I need to get we some gotta hot. find the hot nuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm going to make a decision, but I want both of you guys. Okay. High or low? Which one? Which one's high? Which one's low for number wise? I for like percentage? Dice. No, no. I got to roll some dice. High, high. Which one's high? Which one's low? Um... Uh, the, left or right? I can't. The the finger is high. They both are high. Okay, oh, so one. our your left is going to be our right. So yeah. I just oh I'm here, here, I'm looking here. at the name. 
pinky, pinky, pinky or index? Pinky. Or pointer? Pinky. Or, okay, pinky. That is low or high? That's high. Low. <laughs> <laughs> I said. I said that the what, what's that one called? What's the name <laughs> of it? Spirit fingers. Spirit fingers. Yeah, I said the finger one is high. That's high. Well, okay. you, you said said finger. Yeah, because I, finger. I, well, I just saw that the name said finger on it. Okay. All right. We'll we'll roll some we'll roll some dice here. Where's my where's my dice? Ah, we'll use the big one. And so, what is that's, high and that's what is not low? A big dice. Okay. This is a big dice. Well, no, th- this is this is a weapon. That's this what is, this is. This is a big dice. Th- this will do damage. Plus, it's textured, so it'll leave a, like a cool rope and dragon and a number on your face. I really want to get that. I want to get that dice with a hundred sides. <clears throat> Oh, that's yeah, like you, that's like this big. I mean, I have a D hundred. A big one. Is it a hundred? It's like it's like a giant one. Maybe it's not hundred. Okay. It's like a thousand size. I don't know. So that that's low. F- Spirit fingers is low. And then sure, honorable mention is high. I'm pretty sure that's the opposite of what we said. But is sure, that what said? go for what? it. All right, whatever. Okay, which one? <laughs> whatever. What you just said. Let's go with okay. that. Move this along here. It's it's a six. So is that low? Yeah. Okay. That's okay. You don't Spirit seem fingers. very excited. No, I just. I, I, I don't know why I wanted I don't know why, it to be the other one. I don't know why I side like that. I just. I think I'm confused. So, that's normal. <laughs> <laughs> there we nice. go. Nice. That was a good, like, crisp. According to sk- surveys, according to surveys, that is the most satisfying sound <laughs> in the world. <laughs> mm hmm. At least to men. Everybody who was surveyed. Every single person? <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like a queen sweep, but it was, they surveyed a ooh, bunch ooh, of people. Ooh, and it was a, it was a D120. That's what I was talking about. A polyhedron. Mm. Oh, look at that. It didn't overflow, but look at, look at the head. On that. Look at that head. Look at that. That's, it, that's it, a good head. It bubbled. Plus, this is my sweet old Seahawks cup. Look at that. <laughs> that is vintage. <laughs> Like eighty. I was gonna say <laughs> that's a, money that's now. a very vintage Seahawks logo. That's probably one of my favorite mugs I have because of that. That's now you just got to get a so. Sonics mug. That would actually be really cool too. <laughs> or uh, what's the awesome. what's the new Washington hockey team like the Dragons or something? Krakens? No, it's Kraken. Kraken. Krakens. Did it's you see the Kraken. Sounders won? Their, uh they won the cup. Or their their last game they did, like the, the big one. I have not been following any sports. Oh, it was on the news. I'm not really super following. I also either, don't they... watch the news. Um, well, so <laughs> I don't watch the news or sports. I I really want to go to a hockey game though. I've yeah. never been like big into hockey, but I feel like it'd be really fun to be there and like with the crowd and enjoy all that. Mm. But you got to get into hockey... it too. Yeah. See, I've been I've been to. Baseball and football games. Um, oh, the I've dragons! Never... Sorry, sorry to interrupt. I knew I knew dragons. Dragons is was Seattle's XFL football team. Oh, the XFL. Okay, mm-hmm. I knew there was something was a dragons. <laughs> right. All right, sorry, <laughs> but no. So I've been to an MLB game, mm-hmm. many many of those, uh, and I've been to several NFL games. Seahawks. Those ones were awesome. The energy in the stadium is insane, um, especially when we had the Legion of Boom. Mm-hmm. Was when I went and saw him. It was absolutely insane. Um, it's like nobody I, now, though. I've I never think... been. I've never been to a basketball game because the Sonics left Seattle, mm-hmm. and then uh, I've never been to a hockey game, mm-hmm. and. Um, I want to say I've been to a soccer game, but it wasn't. I don't think I, mean, I have. If you've I've been, been to, to soccer stadiums, if you've been yeah, to a, for a if game. you've been to a small uh, taco shop, you've been to a soccer game. You know. <laughs> 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 okay, I get it, maybe that's, that's playing on max volume in the corner hey, of the room. You know what? <laughs> Remember what's what's happening? Uh, the Deschutes rugby team is coming into Wildman next week. Mm. Remember that was one thing Jason was telling us, which was weird because like rugby is one that I never really got into. I knew somebody played a girl, and 
dang, she'd like be bruised up and broken rugby, lip. Rugby cool. is like football without the safety gear. Or or pausing. Well they wear they wear like they wear soft armor instead of hard armor, I think. They wear like like leather instead of not, plastic. Not very not, much. Not really. They have like knee pads and arm and elbow pads. Yeah, and that's like about knee it. Knee pads and elbow pads and mm. shin guards. Maybe. Like, because I, I, I looked seen, up like rugby armor and they do have art like chest pieces. I'm but sure it, they it's probably not do. as big as like a football chest piece. Like I I've watched a lady like get like slammed in the face and they just go yeah. take a drink of water and just a bunch of blood back right on the on the mm-hmm. field like oh mm-hmm. I would be I, I'd be a wuss I'd be crying I'd be done yeah. I can I I can handle pain but not not voluntary pain usually yeah mm-hmm. I'm not but, very good at handling pain yeah. it was though like uh the airsoft Marco, Marco Polo I think would be fun I'm not playing airsoft but it, we're not actually playing airsoft. This is Marco Polo. I'm not going to get shot by an airsoft gun. <laughs> it's fun. It's like it's, a. It's, it's not fun. Only. It, it's it's only as bad as bad as a a Nerf gun that like a brand new Nerf gun that hits hard. Like no, Nerf yeah. guns are nothing compared to airsoft. Uh, the new ones, oh yeah, the the new ones like from a like an airsoft pistol, it's about the same as an as a Nerf gun. I've shot an airsoft pistol that can like put a hole in a tin can from like well, 200 feet. Right, but that that's like the professional grade ones that, you know, you CO2 or the uh, yeah, green gas or something. CO2 pistol. Like, yeah. No, you don't use those. You, you use the spring action ones. Mm. <laughs> the crappy like Walmart ones. Because it's like, ah, it's a sting. <laughs> let's, just, let's just go out with a bunch of rubber band guns and have fun with like that. See, I feel like that's worse. I no. feel like we're... I rubber remember bands, having a your age uh, farther than like twenty feet. Yeah, so everybody's within like ten. <laughs> Just a bunch of point blank <laughs> headshots. Oh, or no? Uh, I we used to get the magnums. You know, you guys know what those ones are. I know what a regular magnum is. The the red ones, the ones that like are normally that big, mm. and when you stretch them, they're like, mm. yeah, you get plopped with one of those right in the stomach. You get a nice figure eight. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> From from about belly button to nips, like it's a it's, it's a good one. <laughs> yeah, I've you know, seen. I just I don't I don't have any desire to be shot at by anything, <laughs> any projectile at all. Nothing. Yeah, only photons, laser laser tag only. Not even ah. not even that. Ah, oh, come on. It's so La- fun. Though. Laser tag is amazing. My bachelor party was like one of the funnest nights of my life. <laughs> yeah, but it was for you. <laughs> yeah, but it was still fun. It was fun, but yeah, it was so, Calv- so it was very Calvin specific. We did, we did laser tag, and then we played Smash Bros in a giant inflatable projector outside. That was my bachelor party, and ate a lot of pizza, lots of pizza and root beer. Nice. See, see, so this will be something for the podcast, Tyler. It'll be content for the podcast, so it's not just you yeah. know something we're just going to go do and get out of your comfort zone for the podcast. So what are you going to hire somebody to follow us around with a camera? Do it for the vibe. Or are we are you just going to do it and then you plan on us talking about it? We're going to get GoPro. Oh, you know, I have a GoPro or we could have a camera. <laughs> I'm I'm sure Coleman would be happy to hold the camera. It'll be it'll be this same setup that we have right now, but it's going to be our GoPro footage of us shooting each other. <laughs> well, no, just like the, I, the when I the video I sent you guys where the guy, one person just standing there <laughs> Well, three guys are being quiet. One guy's blindfolded. Hmm. See, I'd rather do airsoft than paintball. Paintball is bad. Like that hurts. Yeah, no, that hurts really Horribly. bad. I wouldn't want to do either one. I'm airsoft. Going, I'm going to say bad. right now, I will not do either one. All right, fine. Do it. Do it for the vine, Tyler. <laughs> Vine's dead. I'm sorry. Vine do is dead. Vine. Vine's dead. I won't say do it for TikTok because you're not on TikTok. Also, <laughs> I ain't gonna do it. Do it for the cast. <laughs> so the t- I, I mentioned it uh, the what about being shot by Colin and I have like scars from it. That was only because he was literally like here from me, and he had a CO two Glock and went oh because <laughs> yeah it's Colin. <laughs> that's a that's a classic Colin move. Yeah, and I was in like one of those tall 
like outside wicker chairs too. And it was right as I was taking a sip of my beer. So one of them went through the bottom side of my can. And then I got hit like in the arm a couple times. And then I fell backwards. But then I still like, you killed my full beer that I just opened. That was what I was most <laughs> mad about. I was like, that's, man. <laughs> yeah, that's alcohol abuse. That was, that was a full one. Full tall boy. I just opened. <laughs> That's like you spilling that mead at the Wildland Brewery. Right. <laughs> that was good. Uh, I, 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 when I showed uh, Bobby, like, oh, look, look at this cut I did. Look at this. It's going to be funny. She's like, as soon as that disclaimer came on. <laughs> My wife, she was like, what happened? And I was like, just watch. And then he spilled the mead. She's like, oh, I get it. And it's funny because <laughs> you said it was abuse, right? Like two seconds mm -hmm. after that. Yeah, like, alcohol, alcohol abuse. <laughs> That's what you call it when you uh, spill alcohol. It is. Yeah. Unless it's bad alcohol. Because. Then it deserved it. Mm -hmm. I mean, even bad alcohol has its uses. I mean, 211 works really good for cleaning car parts. <laughs> so is Everclear. Everclear is cheaper than most like parts cleaners. And wounds. Cleaning mm -hmm. wounds. Yeah. I mean, so hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide is pretty cheap. Right, but that's not the that's not what you should use. No, mm. I use hydrogen peroxide on wounds for some some of like them, yeah yeah it lifts because it bubbles up so it'll lift the dirt out of it. Mm -hmm. It kills but, it kills but then bacteria yeah. and then to like not really cauterize it, but no, you do hydrogen hydrogen like peroxide and then neosporin it, yeah neosporin yeah. after the hydrogen peroxide and then you you bandage it up. Mm. There was a doctor that I saw talking but about it. If it's it a really deep, not... like a really, really, like if it's a big cut, you won't yeah, no. want to put hydrogen peroxide in it. No? That'd be bad. No. Yeah, yeah. That, that's... It just is, is It not wouldn't good. really do much, but it would hurt really bad. Yeah. I think it... I think it, I just hurt. And it, it could head. actually, it could it actually, if I remember right, doesn't it like put air bubbles in the blood or something like that? I feel like it like stops the actual like healing... If it's a deeper one, it doesn't. It stops it from healing as much as it could mm, mm. because it's like you know, it turns white and it kills all the stuff that it's touching, yeah. basically. Yeah. So I it, guess like, it depends. Yeah. Like if 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 it's there's a something scrape, in, if there's something in your wound yeah. that could possibly get you infected, and that that's where you use it. Then the hydrogen peroxide. It doesn't matter if it kills a little bit of your skin. I don't mean. I don't know. I've had a. Well, I think is that one. That might still be something. You have a little spot like right there. That's something I got in there in my hand a long time ago. Mm. It's never come out. It's just like a little little black spot. It's just part of you now. Mm. Yeah, just just in there. My dad's got a twenty two in his belly. Oh wow! He's when he's young, Dominic decided to whack a twenty two with a hammer, and it <laughs> shot him in the stomach. Ouch! Yep. Instant instant karma. He's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> he also uh, at one point had um, it was my uncle. They had some blasting caps. And their old house had those you know, old single pane windows, and he was playing with them. And he lit one off, and it shattered the window. But it like peppered him with the, the glass. And when my dad and grandpa like, ran up there upstairs, like, "What's going on?" He's like, "Nothing, nothing." And also, these little blood spots started like popping up all over his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. Yep. That's like mm -hmm. when I cut my wrist. Well, the top of my wrist. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Top of my wrist. Ooh. Ooh. Um, yeah, I remember. I remember when that with happened my, with my window. Mm -hmm. It like it peeled window. back, and I was able to look at it, and I could see like three layers down into my skin for like yeah, a good fifteen you were, seconds before it started bleeding. You were like, bouncing yeah. off of the window. I was standing on my windowsill and hitting my window with my butt and falling onto my bed. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you shattered it. I shattered the inner pane of the window all over my bed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you Bun fell on buns it. Of steel. Well, I fell. I hit the bed first. Mm -hmm. um, but I only got cut right there. But speaking of the of the blasting cap, my grandfather and my two uncles used to, because um, they worked. My grandfather worked for and still does work for a blasting company. Cool. And so my two uncles, when they were younger. Um, and my grandfather, they would like bring stuff home from work and like build these crazy things in the garage. And, um, my younger uncle tells this story about my grandpa and his older brother building a cannon <clears throat> in the garage. 
out of like two inch steel pipe and uh they put gunpowder in it and like a ball bearing or something in it and um i don't remember what else they put some other explosives in it like nitrous or nitro or something i don't know it was it was crazy but my uncle it's what's really funny is my younger uncle whenever he's telling a story he's always standing away from them and eating a bowl of cereal <laughs> in the story <laughs> and so he was telling this story he was looking at them in the garage standing in the kitchen they had a sliding glass door that looked at the garage and he was standing inside the house the door was closed but he was looking through the sliding glass door about six inches away from it watching them do something because they were about to light off the cannon for the first time and so when so they like are like standing away and they go to light it off and uh a, like a 10 foot flame comes out of the front of it this massive explosion and my uncle said that the sliding glass door he was standing there and he watched the glass like bend in and like almost touch the bowl in his hand <laughs> They're terrible too. Yeah, they're what? That's the full thirty cal. Oh yeah, my um, the uncle who was always eating cereal, he got one of those as a like an anniversary gift. But yeah, we got to shoot which, it. Which uh, um, which style was it? Was it like the uh, the garrison or was it the uh, like cavalry? I can't remember. What was it like? You know, two wheels or was it like on a ship? I think it was the it, it was the cavalry one. Mm. Longer, a little bit longer. Yeah, longer yeah. Those are so cool. I touched off my mm -hmm. one little bit ago just to like to make sure I have my fuses working and everything. But I got those two little ones. We'll have to, I'll have to bring those. Those are really, those are really. Fun. I got a bunch of black powder. We'll have to shoot them off. It's really <laughs> my, fun. My dad and my brother <laughs> built a cannon out of much less deadly things than <laughs> those cannons. They made it out of PVC pipe. The air cannon. It was PVC pipe and compressed air. And it could shoot. It That's could, still super deadly. But it not and not like fireball night like nitrous explode your house. No, but deadly. it would still kill you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not talking about the projectile. I'm talking about what makes the cannon go. Mm -hmm. It's compressed air is super dangerous. What one of my friends used to work at a uh, metal fabrication place, and they'd have to you know punch out the quarters. But the machine mm -hmm. that they used to punch it out, it had the air release to pop them out. And they'd have the garage door shut, and that's what they would do: is they'd let it go, and then it would almost go through it. But every once in a while, they would open it up and kind of angle the pipe up and like shoot them over the highway. <laughs> yeah, no, I remember that air cannon. Um, me and your brother shooting. We we put uh, marbles in it one time, yeah, and then put a we like we stuffed because <clears throat> because he. The marbles were smaller than the pipe. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you just put the marble in it and then released it, they would just kind of, like, basically just fall out of the right. end. And so I was like, no, you got to put, like, a, a plug in the first. And so we, like, wadded up one of his socks and stuffed it in there and then put a marble in it and fired it off at a, a sheet of three-quarter inch plywood. <laughs> and the marble went through the plywood <laughs> from, like, 70 feet away yeah Ooh. yeah that thing could shoot rocks like into the stratosphere like they went over the trees and yeah. were gone <laughs> that was fun but i was that was a lot of fun when i was younger uh my dad showed us was my cousins stayed with us for like a summer what they used to do when they were kids they'd take some copper pipe and then they'd bend it so then you had like a pistol and you'd take a firecracker and you kind of pull the the fuse over the end of it and you light it and then you drop marble in it, and now you got a pistol. <laughs> so mm. he showed us, like, oh, yeah, you guys can do this. So we spent a summer shooting off bottle rockets and, like, marbles at each other. <laughs> yeah. And mm. and using black cats. You know black cats have, like, that extremely fast fuse? So you can flick mm -hmm. them real fast if, you, if you're good. But every once in a while, you get that one where you're, like, right in your ear, and you go, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> And it wouldn't hurt either because it was like, oh, it's just a black cat. So it's like, ah. <laughs> just loud. Mm-hmm. We threw poppets to each other a lot. The little, those little white. Those are fun. I used to snap, mm -hmm. snap those. Yeah. Those are fun. Yeah. We used to throw those at each other. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Nothing like getting the bottle rocket sent at you, though. Yeah, no, we don't do it. We didn't. Do I don't that. think I've ever shot a Wait, bottle rocket. We don't before. do that. We will do that, Tyler. I'll, no. I'll just show up to your house and drive by bottle rockets. <laughs> dee, dee, dee. Do it for the cast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Actually, I thought it'd be really fun. You know, those like bricks of like rockets. You thought it'd be fun to throw a brick through Tyler's window? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I got you. I got you on record saying that. <laughs> <laughs> you hurt me. You know the bricks of rockets. You light it and it goes. Dee, 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 you know, fires them off. I thought it'd be really yeah. fun to make a rocket launcher with those because those are the exact same size as like one of those square um, blind boxes. <laughs> So you put that in there, and then you can have like a mounted light the fuse, and now you can see where those rockets go. Mm. <laughs> like a miniature AA. It'd be yeah. pretty fun. I've never shot off uh, rockets before, or fireworks, or anything like that. Just just the, really? uh, the compressed air cannon, and a BB gun, and rubber band guns. <laughs> You've never like shot a real gun or anything. Like I did that. shoot one of my uncle's guns one time in his backyard, but it was like a small gun. And That's I shot. No, it was it was a rifle, but it was a it like was a twenty two caliber. Yeah, it's probably like a twenty two. Bullet was about that big. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't see. I didn't see the bullet. I just saw the hole it made. <laughs> oh, okay. Um. Well, we're gonna have to get together and shoot then, because I got I got some stuff. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be fun. The, there's nothing funner than going out and just like shooting some clay pigeons or models. Mm-hmm. It it's just fun, or even just mag dumping. That mm-hmm. <laughs> that's got to be one of the funnest things. Because I went out the other day. I, like I said in the last one, I was went out and shot, but I I uh, had only loaded like three rounds into my one rifle, and then I had my other mag with a couple rounds in it. So I did do like switch mag real fast just to see if I could do it. And it was really fun to be like, oh, it's out. And then oh, really fast. And then try to do it without a jamming. Yeah. And then, then being mad that I didn't hit the target. So I just pulled my pistol and just dumped 10 rounds. In. <laughs> <laughs> and I still missed. <laughs> yeah. It, it's really fun to do. It's just... I mean, I'm really good shot at laser tag. But yeah. I don't know. I don't know how I am with an actual gun. Oh, well, Have you ever been actual scat shooting? Like at an actual gun range? Did you say scat shooting? Yeah. Where they shoot the clay pigeon out into the air and you got to shoot it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I didn't know. Skeet, I, skeet shooting, scat shooting. It's skeet. Sh- is it skeet? Scat is skeet shooting. Scat is. I know is that. <laughs> Someone's just. But it looks. It also the is like a disc that oh. looks like. <laughs> yeah. They just launch cat poop in the air and you blow it up. Skeet shooting. I mean, if you if you go to Seattle, you have so many things you could use. Just any of those little terminals. You got yeah. so many bags. <laughs> Well, you could use like a cow pie. That's basically a clay pigeon. That's what I was thinking. A cow pie is kind of in the same shape as a clay pigeon. Yeah, shoot cow pie in the air. Frisbees. Blow it up. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But no, have you ever ever been skeet shooting? Me me or Mick? I have have not. I know that you have. I I said I have a child uh, (laughs) Yeah, I I have some clay pigeons, but I've never actually been like out with the whole like mechanism and stuff to like flick them out there. Okay. I've just set them up and blasted them, but yeah, mm. I want it's to. really fun when they move. It's really fun. Yeah, I probably, I I probably miss all uh, of them. Well, then we I, we I I think I can get uh, or my dad might even have one one of the the handheld pigeon throwers. Oh yeah, and I have a box of clay pigeons and a twelve gauge. We could go out and blast. Yeah, I'm not good at throwing them. Um. But we went, my grandpa took me out to the gun range and we, um, it, it's basically, it's like the driving range. Um, if you go to a golf driving range, you just stand, everybody stands in a line and, uh, you just call out, you know, you say pole really loud mm-hmm. and then it, it automatically just like shoots a clay pigeon out in front of you and then you got to shoot it. Nice. Mm. I was really good. I got, I think I got 75 out of a hundred. Oh, dang. That's pretty good. I'd probably miss and, most of them. I mean, you are shooting with buckshot, so you do have a a broad range of. It was bird shot, not buckshot. Buckshot would buckshot would, is a slug. Destroy no, something. No, no, that's deer. Oh. That's deer slug. 
No, you, the slug's different. Buckshot is your standard pellets. Birdshot, oh, yeah, birdshot right. is birdshot is, is a bigger sm- pattern though, it's smaller. Yeah, birdshot's the, the smaller pellets to shoot pigeons. I, I have a couple twenty twos that are birdshot, which is really weird. Weird. So like, pellets. so like, if you actually hit a bird with bird, birdshot, would the bird just explode? No. It just. <laughs> no, if you hit a bird with buckshot, it would explode. <laughs> <laughs> My. Uh... <laughs> All right, so we'll we'll, we'll land on this story. <laughs> because <laughs> we're getting to we're getting about time my uncle when they were really really little and they grew up in idaho he got a 12 gauge from uh, my grandpa as a special gift and they went out hunting and they were gonna go get some grouse and <laughs> it was my dad my uncle and i think my other uncle and they were walking through the woods and they heard something, and my uncle was one that had the 12 gauge. And he went, Oh, there's one. And he turned and he pulled the trigger, but that grouse was probably five feet away from him. Mm-hmm. So he, he turned, and then it was just feathers. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, that, you got it. Yep. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> my uncle shot. It's been a wreck. He did that plane of existence. <laughs> <laughs> my uncle shot a rabbit with a 12 gauge one time with a slug in it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he got it. And there was no more rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> and he was, yeah, it was like. He didn't, he'd never, there. his friend was like, hey, we should go get a rabbit. That sounds good. Like, have you ever, have you ever eaten rabbit? And he's like, no. He's like, well, let's go get a rabbit. And so he just grabs a 12 gauge and he shoots it and there was no more, like, <laughs> it was just not- all of the, it, there was nothing to eat. <laughs> just the whole just and Yeah. And that was the last time he's hunted anything. He felt so bad. <laughs> <laughs> After he blew up, a, he exploded I mean, a rabbit. He's like, that's that- enough hunting for me. He was like, that was a, what a waste. Like I just killed it for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I feel so bad. It, it, it kind of, it tears on you. If you don't, I mean, have... it was most likely a painless death. At least there was no suffering. Well, yeah. <laughs> I hope so. It did not suffer. It was instantaneous. It blinked and yeah. it was gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, on that note of, awe of bunny death, uh, we're going to go ahead and end it <laughs> again. Stick around and listen, because you're not going to hear Dusty Kebby as much as we love them, but you're going to hear Power Paladin and their amazing song, Craven the Hunter, which is the first song off of their album. Go and check it out, and bye. Bye. Ciao.